my name is Shahid Bashir so based on our previous videos uh, we are on the stage where we can write the abstract of the entire study so you know uh, first I will tell you there are some common mistakes done by the people so number one they can't understand the meaning of an abstract completely so let me give you an idea so if somebody says to you that uh, how you can precise your entire study to few lines so in short this person is asking for an abstract of the study so it can have a value like uh, you can say this is a trailer of a, of a movie so they just you know even the trailer doesn't give you some conclusion so I would say this like you know if you have to say um, in very precise you know defining your entire thesis in few lines so how are you going to do this so there are several sections you need to define okay the first thing it is widely known in related literature that consumers perceive risk act as a chief barrier to their online purchase decision though in such regards few of the most recent text focus precisely towards a modified fact that consumers intention may not only depend on their perceived risk in online trade instead a it may likewise depend on their reasonable trust over online transaction counterparts so until there you're talking about the problem the research issue so no even including this one still a very little attention has been kept to this precise concept leaving an academic gap to investigate the mediating function of consumer trust in a web vendor in the relationship between online perceived risk and online purchase intention so until now talking about the research problem and then the research purpose so okay part one research problem part two research purpose which is this quantitative research aims at contributing towards closing the research issue as such okay then by submitting a sample size of 400 internet shoppers the researcher probe into total force the finding uncovered that perceived risk negatively affect the consumers online purchase intention based on four predictors that are performance financial psychological and time moreover such theoretical relationships are fully mediated by trust in web vendors so this is an idea of methodology a bit literature review and now we are moving towards the conclusion so thus it is reasonably conceived that the control efforts made by Malaysian web vendors to decrease certain types of risk will first improve consumer trust and then ultimately increase the consumers intention to purchase on online consequently the future researchers are recommended to be undertaken in order to explore and refine the measurement scales used to measure perceived risk trust and online purchase intention so now the final section so this is a little recommendation based on your entire writing of abstract so moreover a longitudinal study is also recommended to discover how Malaysian consumers behavioral intention towards the internet changes over time due to the rapid development of this emerging technology in Malaysia so now there are several parts uh, I, will re I will repeat so discussing the research issue the research purpose the methodology a uh, bit about the research model and uh, then the conclusion and finally the recommendation so 
this will give you a very good idea about how to write a good abstract so they, they, it can be different you know based on uh, what people think uh, so but uh, I, I just give you a short idea about how to write an abstract so hopefully this